Hi, you guys. It's me again. Okay, today I am working, and if you're new to my channel, what I do is I scour around thrift stores and I buy stuff and I sell it on eBay. And what I'm looking for, for today is plus size clothes. Um, a lot of times in the thrift stores here, you can't find uh, plus size clothes. So what I will do is I will find as many plus size clothes as I can and I will hoard them and then I will sell them at the swap meet and I try to find them as dirt cheap as I can. Yesterday I posted a video of some blouses and you know in thrift stores it was really hard to find blouses. So I'm trying to find plus size blouses plus they're cheap to uh, mail. I can fold them up in little manila envelopes and uh, mail them pretty cheap. So I'm working today and it's still hot here too. And I'm also working at home, which is no fun. And I posted, now this was a proud moment, you guys. Okay, so you know, you saw my balcony garden is pretty bad. It's had everything from, I didn't water my plants enough. They didn't get enough sunlight. The pots were too small. The dust mites arrived, but Misha, made guacamole with my um, homegrown tomatoes and if you would like to see that it's on my instagram just go to rotastone instagram and rotastone um twitter and a lot of your guys's comments are on there too great comments great ideas and so i was very proud of that guacamole and mikey said i had i had four tomatoes and my plants, like the only healthy thing on the plants were the tomatoes. And I was praying to God that, that, that they wouldn't drop off and they didn't. So I had two tomatoes. I, I, I picked one because I couldn't wait and I ate it. It was, it was okay, but Mikey said his were good. And then my second one was better. I think I made some omelet. You know, I wasn't very creative. I didn't think of guacamole. So I have a couple more on there. In fact, I think one's pretty much, and I didn't even know they were good to go. One of the followers told me. I think what I did to the first one is I let it over ripen, but it was, it was okay. I was, it was good. So tonight, if I get another one, I will make something featuring my tomatoes. Okay, so now this video is, is uh, dinner for a week. 1350 so it's the last the last week of the month or it's a couple days before payday and this is 1350 for a week one pound hamburger they have um i mean turkey burger walmart for 50 cents a pound it's not bad i still have a half a pound left I, I've made hamburgers both times out of mine. And so last night I was making the hamburgers and I thought, since it won't stay together in a burger, why don't you make tacos or something? One package tortillas. Find the ones that are 24 tortillas for a dollar and one can tomato soup. So you can have a little uh, vegetable. Also, okay, so now with this, you can make a taco or you can make some rolled tacos and then you would have some tomato soup. And with one pound turkey burger, you could make a lot of rolled tacos or tacos. I make turkey meat for taco. Also, they have taco seasoned turkey meat for $1.50, but I usually put garlic and onion in mine and it's very delicious. One package ham, I like the one at Dollar Tree for a dollar. One carton eggs, you would get eight eggs. One package cheese, I found 16 pieces of cheese at a Food for Less, the kind that melts, and I use it on all kinds of stuff. Sandwiches, macaroni and cheese. and you get 60 slices and one loaf bread. Okay, when you have this and this, 
if you make tacos up here, then now you have cheese and you have 16 pieces of cheese. You could have five, five ham and cheese sandwiches or you could have scrambled eggs with cheese or you could have some uh, cheese uh, quesadillas with this and you could have some eggs and toast or eggs and cheese and toast so with these items you can make quite a few things you're not going to starve out okay one package hot dogs one package of fully loaded mashed potatoes i found those at walmart i used those last night one can refried beans the big ones from dollar tree and uh, one bag rice. Okay, now with this assortment of food, you can make all kinds of things. You can make uh, bean and cheese tor tostadas. You can make uh, rice and hot dogs. I, I happen to like that. You can wrap your hot dogs in the tortillas and fry them like taquitos. You can wrap your fully loaded potatoes in your tortillas because you have 24 t tortillas and you can make um, potato taquitos and have some tomato soup you can have some uh, rice and beans with your tacos so this is a pretty good assortment of food so at this point it was eleven dollars but for two more dollars you can add one large can of fruit okay those large cans of fruit are 16 um 16 serving sizes or you can add i'll put this at the top or one four package yogurt from dollar tree there's a little fruit in that and that would be good because there's a dairy in that and and uh, three cans vegetables. Uh, all these at Walmart has um, vegetables for 50 cents, and that would give you quite a bit of food for uh, 13.50. So um, I did five dollar challenges, and the, the idea behind those would be if you um, had the food bank um, food and you mix those with the five dollar challenges. Then, you know, you could get by with uh, two trips to the food bank for about uh, 15 days. But if you had $13.50 and you went to the food bank, if you went to the food bank and you used these food plans and then you were able to buy more dairy or more fresh fruit or more vegetables, that would be really good too. So... If I find anything, uh, the reason I decided, uh, a couple months ago, one of the ladies said, I think I'll go into a plus size business on eBay. What do you think? And I thought, yeah, that's a really good idea. And so I couldn't find any plus size stuff. So now I'm searching around for plus size stuff. I don't really need more, more clothes to sell, not even jeans. I bought jeans all year. And uh, I'm also going to be buying a little food for the stockpile. Not that I need more food. But I want to make sure that I don't run out. I want to stock up my house so that I can go weeks to months without buying any food. And then these food plans, um, you know, last night I made, these food plans really help. Last night I made a very cheap meal, which was hamburgers with uh, jalapenos. You can embed anything in your, uh, you can embed anything in your um, hamburgers or turkey burgers. Um, and I'm gonna be buying, maybe today, uh, some big, big vegetables, like big bell peppers, uh, big, big carrots, big onions. And those are gonna stretch your food budget uh, too. Uh, the combination of hamburgers with fried green peppers and onions is very delicious. Or fried jalapenos on hamburgers. And those fully loaded potatoes are really good because you only add water. So I think it'd be well worth, uh, even though they're a little bit uh, more expensive, also those packages of tuna are a little bit more expensive too. 
but you could whip up a, a very tasty batch of uh, macaroni and cheese and put the tuna in it. Or you can whip up macaroni and cheese and um, and have the taquitos, you know, the hot dogs wrapped in taquitos. So once you start learning these cheap recipes, you can come up with all kinds of things and you're very unlikely to run out of food. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be uh, doing any mukbangs tonight because I, um, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, another thing is, every time I do like aliens or mukbang, some people don't like it, but if you look at the mukbang food, in all the mukbangs, I've actually done 12, it is a very low cost meal. You can make a lot, you can make a little, that's up to you. You can eat a lot, you can eat a little, that's up to you. Um, eating a lot is, is kind of fun while you're doing it, but after you... <laughs> I was so freaking full.